Hey guys, Chef Mark here. I'm gonna show you my new favorite lasagna. It's a Tuscan lasagna. It's got a unique blend of spices. We'll talk about that later, but first let me grab this Parmesan cream sauce. We're gonna put little pockets of cream throughout our lasagna. It's gonna be delicious. And then for the base of our meat sauce, I'm gonna use our seasoned tomato sauce. It's gonna be a perfect base. Let's grab the pancetta and prosciutto. This is gonna be a great addition to our meat sauce, not just your standard meat and pork addition to that. This is gonna add a nice, unique flavor to it. Well, you can't have lasagna without pasta sheets, so I'm gonna grab these fresh lasagna sheets here. And some of our recipes will have these not cooked and just add it to a lasagna. This, you gotta make sure that you wanna boil these first. Get everything I need, so let's go cook this thing. So what we have here, we're gonna start with a sofrito. And sofrito is basically a, it's a, it's a start to a sauce. It's a base to it. And you've got a lot of different cultures with different sofritos. This one has a little onion, celery, carrot, like a mirepoix. Um, but I also added a little bit of pancetta in this. And I pulsed it in the food processor a little bit until this thing has gotten nice and small. We don't want a puree out of this, but we want small pieces out of this. So we're gonna add this to a pan with about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna cook that for about 10 minutes on medium until the vegetables are softened and the water has evaporated from there. So another ounce in there. All right, we're gonna add the crushed red pepper and a little nutmeg to this. Right, and then we're gonna talk about our spice blend for this. You know, in every region of Italy, in all your different salamarias there, the butchers there will have their own special blend of spices. This one is unique to this lasagna, and this one has a little bit of cinnamon, some curry powder, some nutmeg, and some garam masala. And what I'll do with this is I'll mix all this in a container. All right, we're only gonna use about two teaspoons of this, but this is what's gonna give our lasagna that unique flavor. It's got a couple more minutes to go till it softens up. It's been about that 10 minutes or so. Our vegetables are nice and soft, and now it's time to add the meat to this. We're gonna take about four ounces of prosciutto that's diced, and we're gonna add that to it. And we're also gonna take about three quarters of a pound of ground beef and three quarters of a pound of ground pork. We'll add this to the pan and continue to stir it. We wanna break this up into very small pieces. You want it nice and fine for the lasagna, but it's gonna take about five minutes, six minutes or so in order for it to get really nice and brown, cooked through and nice and crumbly. Okay, our meat's nice and brown here. Now's the time we're gonna add the red wine to this and we're using about a cup of red wine. Now, as tempting as it may be to shoot some down the gullet, you wanna make sure some hits the sauce too. So about a cup of red wine, and we're gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes until that is completely dry on the bottom. All right, my red wine is fully cooked out. It's really nice and dry down at the bottom here. Now we need to add a couple things to it. So I've got a full package of our seasoned tomato sauce. It's a full 24 ounces. And then I've got two teaspoons of our spice blend. So there's one, two, all right? And then I've got a cup and three quarters of water. A little bit of salt and pepper. And we're gonna put the lid on this so we don't evaporate too much. And then we're gonna let this cook for about another 15 minutes on low heat. So bring it down temperature so we don't evaporate a lot, but we want this tomatoes and everything to meld very nicely inside here. Keep in mind this is a double batch of sauce here, so you can either go right off the bat and make two lasagnas or you have a whole nother batch of sauce ready to go when you want. All right, so our sauce is ready. I got myself nice and organized over here. What I did with my noodles is I cooked them already. So I cooked them per the package directions and then I have them here. But what you also wanna do is you wanna measure your pan. You wanna make sure that your lasagna noodles fit inside the pan without overlapping. That's very important. You wanna single layer those noodles all over. So what I did was I measured the bottom of the pan and I figured it was about that wide or so. And now I have my lasagna sheet ready so that it's gonna fit inside the pan without overlapping but it's also not gonna crawl up the sides where it can tend to dry out around those edges. So the other thing you need to do in the corners where it's nice and round, I trim off just a little triangle so as I place that on the inside of there, it's gonna fit inside those corners. So let's start assembling this. So the first step is we're gonna spray this thing out. So lasagna doesn't stick, so just a little pan spray in the bottom of that. And the first step is we're gonna add a cup of the meat ragu. So I got a three quarter cup measure, so a little more. And what I wanna do is spread this out over the entire bottom. You want a nice wet coating on the bottom of this for the lasagna noodle to first sit on. 
and then we're going to build up from there. So a cup of sauce on the bottom. And now I need to put my first layer of lasagna noodles. So I'm going to put this in the pan. Again, I'm being careful that the edges don't crawl up the sides. We don't want it dry. Now, here comes the sauce. So first thing, we do three quarters cup of meat ragu all over the bottom. And we're going to spread this again with a spoon. You want to make sure that each one of your layers, the sauce covers the edge. Because as, as the lasagna cooks, those noodles are going to absorb that sauce. And then the next layer, we're going to go with our Parmesan cream sauce. But this case, we're just going to take our three quarters cup measure again, and let's just drizzle this over the top. We want little pockets of that cream sauce mixed in there. So we just kind of drizzle that in there, not mixed very well, and that's fine with me. So we're going to do a little bit of Parmesan cheese on each layer. Small amount. And then each layer, we're going to do a little bit of black pepper. Just a touch. From here on out, we're going to make that whole step with the lasagna, three quarters a cup of each sauce, the Parmesan and the pepper. We're going to do that twice more and then we'll come back. So, all right, now we've done our two more layers on top of that. Our last final layer, we're going to put one more sheet on the top. Then, instead of that three quarters a cup of sauce that we've been doing, we're going to go with twice that much. This is going to make a nice layer on the top so we make sure that all of the top of the lasagna sheets are coated, okay? So we go to all corners, make sure that's nice and even. And then the last little bit of sauce here, we're going to coat over the top. We're going to spread that out. All right. Then one last layer of Parmesan cheese and a little more black pepper on the top. And now the only thing left to do here is we're going to put a little bit of aluminum foil over the top. We're going to go in an oven at 350 degrees for about 50 minutes covered. And then the last 15 minutes after that 50, we're going to take the lid off and we're going to let that brown and firm up inside the oven. We'll be back. Lasagna's out of the oven. It's been in there for an hour and five minutes or so. The last thing I need to do is wait. We're going to wait about 15 minutes. I want you to let this thing set up before you cut into it. So what I like to do is just take a knife in here, have a nice sharp knife, go in between. Ugh. Can't wait to try this one, so get in. There we go, one perfect slice of lasagna here. And what you're gonna notice about this lasagna, one, it's gonna smell fantastic because of all those spices, but also you're gonna notice it's a little smaller than maybe you're used to and pile it real high. This thing is delicious.